Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. This time we're going over the blue spoilers that Bandai released to us over the past week. I don't know if this is all the blue cards. They released quite a few of them and I want to go over them in today's video, talk about how good I think they are. And it kind of raises the question, did they ban objection for no reason? Because this archetype ramps so, so hard. It is a mono blue themed strategy. So maybe everything in set 10 will be mono colored centered around using cards. We'll have to wait and see. Guys, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. If you guys want to support the channel, there are many free ways to do that right now during these trying times. You can like the video, maybe watch an ad, maybe share the video. And if you want to pre-order any of the cards you see in today's video, you can always use my link down below to TCG Player. With that being said, let's get right on into this. I'm a huge fan of this Trunks Leader. Before I even knew what the cards do from that get revealed from the life, the fact that this leader cannot be hit by critical is just so cool to me like during your opponent's turn if, if your life would be sent to your hand or placed to your drop area you can reveal it and add it to your hand instead so you literally can't be critted auto attack draw card activate main once per turn pay two blue choose one of your points battle cards place it at the bottom of the owner's deck at the end of the turn choose one of your mono blue energy and switch it to active mode so obviously super strong effect there pay two and you get an energy back so it means like you're making a few less offensive plays in your turn but there are actually like zero energy plays in this deck which we'll talk about in a second so this is the unawakened side same thing you can't be critted basically when this card attacks draw one awaken when your life or your opponent's life's at four or less draw one choose an energy switch to active mode and flip over so the fact that you can awaken on either player's four life is really strong so if you're playing against aggro you don't necessarily have to go down to a super low life you can play stall and stay at a higher life total which is pretty awesome Going over the Zamasu leader, let's read the uh, unawakened side first. When this card attacks, draw one. Awaken when it lays four or less, or you have four or more energy. Draw one. Switch an energy to active mode and flip over. Fuse Zamasu Divine Runebringer. When this card attacks, draw one. Activate main once per turn. Place one of your energy in its owner's drop area, then choose one of the following effects. This card gains dual attack for the turn. Important to note the auto to draw when it attacks is not once per turn, so that'll be a double draw. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. So basically, kill an energy. You get one of the following effects. There are ways to get free energy in the deck, which we will talk about. Supreme Kai of Time, Unison of History, a two specified unison for blue. Activate main once per turn. If the leader card is a blue trunks future card, and you add one card from your life to your hand, at the end of the turn, switch to one of your mono blue energy to active mode. So this is going to be a key card in matchups that are not attacking you. You know, aggro decks and mid-range decks that attack you, you, you might not want to even play this card, but you might anyway. Because this, the unfortunate thing here is like you have to add a card from life to your hand. It's not optional. So that's just something to keep in mind. Activate main. Add one card in your life to your hand. Then choose one card from your hand and place it in your life. That's a very interesting effect. That's a way to fix your, your hand in the sense that you're able to put the cards that play from your life into your life. So actually, maybe this is like a, a full-on staple. That makes a little bit more sense, I guess. This is not going to be super great against aggro. It's not really going to help you like get your win condition rolling, which is kind of unfortunate against aggressive decks. But against the slow decks, it's definitely going to be very good. Like against Piccolo, maybe Surge Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks, Absolute Unison, and SR from the set. A four-specified blue Unison card. It has base, dual attack, and blocker. Minus two, activate main, draw two cards. Minus three, activate main, choose up two of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. Place them at the bottom of the owner's deck in any order. Interesting here, this card has no ways to give itself markers unless you have like an extra copy of it in your hand or some type of card that gives markers besides this card itself. But its marker effects are very powerful. The minus three seems very, very strong. So you pay four for it and it's basically a removal of anything with barrier that your opponent can't stop because as of right now, there are no counter play options to unison cards. So what is this good against? Like Vegeta Invoker for sure. Anything that's just really spamming a wide board that's going to let you get to turn four. This thing does seem pretty good. I mean, dual attack and blocker, they're not the best keyword skills, but I mean, they're better than not having keyword skills, right? So this card, I do think, will have its its time in the limelight in certain formats where removal is super important that you don't want your opponent to stop. Zeno, Cosmic Unison, two drop. This is the card that everyone is kind of up in arms about. So plus two markers, activate main if your leader card is mono blue, place the top card of your deck in your energy. You can't place cards in your energy area for the turn. Then at the end of the turn, Place the card you place in your energy with the skill in the owner's drop area. So this card probably not going to work with the trunks too well because you just want to get the energy from your life, which we'll see in a little bit. But this is obviously really good with the Zamasu. So your two energy unison card gets you free energy. Your leader kills energy to do certain effects. But this is also good in the other Zamasu, the Zamasu slash Goku Black leader from set seven, I believe it was. 
And then you also have the set two Goku Black Leader, which is causing people a lot of headaches. I mean, we'll see how consistent it ends up being, but I mean, time will tell. Activate main minus five, choose all cards in all battle areas, ignoring barrier and shuffle them into the owner's decks. That hits battle cards and field spells. Important to note, they're kind of hinting at the old school chain Zeno effect with this. They know how powerful that was. So they put that on the minus five effect. Super Saiyan Blue, Son Goku, hope for victory. Permanent during your opponent's turn. If all your energy is mono blue and you would reveal this card from your life to add it to your hand, you may place it in your energy in rest mode instead. If you do, draw one card. That right there, the draw one card really saves this card because if you weren't getting lights to your hand and just putting your energy, your hand size would really hurt. But the fact that this draws a card when placing the energy is actually insanely strong. You're basically still getting the life and you're getting an energy. This seems like a really strong archetype in that sense. Auto at the end of the next turn. After you place this card in your energy with the skill, if this card is in your energy, place it in the owner's drop area. So it's a temporary free energy, but there are things to do with it, as we'll see. This Vegeta does the exact same thing, so we won't even bother going over it. You will play four of each of these cards in Trunks if you're playing the pure Trunks archetype. Super Saiyan 2 Trunks for a brighter future, four drop, unique. So if you guys don't remember what this keyword skill does, you can only control one in your battle area. Permanent, if you have a blue unison card in play, reduce energy cost of this card in your hand by two, becoming a two drop. Auto if your leader card is a blue trunks future. At the end of your opponent's turn, draw one card. That's an auto that'll trigger every turn, so that's pretty good. Activate battle once per turn, pay two. This card gets plus 10,000 power and triple strike for the turn. Very interesting card here because it's it seems strong, but it also seems weak. So obviously this card is gonna be prone to counterplays. The nice thing is that it can become a two drop so you're not investing too much energy into it and if you do pay two for just two drop you can then pay two more for a triple strike so if you think about it that way it's a four drop 30k triple striker that is pretty strong but you know negates exist and counterplays exist so i don't know how i feel about this card i feel like this card is not going to be one of the win cons of the deck just uh, just my opinion but anyways moving on zeno edge of space a new super combo if your leader card is blue if your life's a five or less and it's your opponent's turn when this card is used in a combo, add one card from energy to your hand. If you do, place one card from your hand in your energy. So you basically have to swap out an energy. Interesting. Um, we've seen cards like this before with the Roshi Rare, I think from set eight. And it wasn't really it wasn't really too great. So, But it does have an added auto when you play this card, draw one. So it is like a typical super combo in that sense where you can get the draw of it, but you have to play it first and then it gets the... Uh, the risk of getting removed from the board so that's pretty unfortunate i don't know this card's really difficult i don't know if this is like super great i saw a combo where you can use this with uh plan for destruction i believe the card's called the anniversary box ramping card for zamasu slash goku black that could be a cute thing but again i don't know anything that hurts your hand in this game anything that doesn't really gain you value if it's not enough tempo it's kind of mess so i mean we'll see how it goes vegito infinite radiance five drop deflect barrier union patora sun goku and vegeta Permanent, if you have four or more energy, you can choose battle cards in your energy when choosing cards to use this card's unison skill from your hand. So you're going to want to add those Gokus and Vegetas from your from your life to your energy and then use them to fuse into this thing for free, which is actually just insane. Like a free 25k beater. Yeah, I mean, it's just a one a one damage beater, but you go into another Vegito later on. That's pretty nuts. Absolute confidence two drop activate main slash battle. Choose one. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards, whenever you cost of three or less, return it to the owner's hand and draw one card. Drawing one's always good. Or you can choose one of your opponent's unison cards and remove a marker from it. So we are already getting some uh, unison removal. And this isn't necessarily full removal, but if your opponent's unison card is only down to one marker or maybe two markers, you can attack the unison card. You can use this during activate battle. You can remove a unison marker from that card. And then the damage is going to go through because your opponent can't combo when you attack the unison cards so that's a way to remove their unison cards somewhat efficiently i mean it costs you a card costs you two energy uh it seems pretty fair i don't think it's like overly busted or anything but it is pretty cool this card might be overly busted two drop god slicing black kamameha counterplay if you have a blue unison card in play draw one if the battle card being played is already cost of four or less it's placed at the bottom of the deck instead of being played finally yes okay this is what we've been talking about for a long time Blue needed a counterplay that didn't return to the hand. It needed a counterplay that returned to the deck or the bottom of the deck because the return to the hand, like you're wide open, super lackluster. Permanent, if all your energy is mono blue, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by choosing two other cards in your hand and discarding them. Very, very fair cost. Very, very fair way to uh, use this card from your hand without paying energy, in my opinion. I mean, we'll see what time tells if they, you know, have cards to say when you discard them, do X, that'd be pretty broken. But instead of just like sparking, 
this is a good alternative to get some tempo but it's going to cost you some card advantage i like that a lot fuse Masu, advocate for evil this is the same thing as a vegito if you have three or more energy you can fuse with a goku black and zamasu from your energy which is pretty nuts zamasu cosmic trader auto if your card is blue zamasu or goku black when this card is played from your hand place the top card of your deck in your energy then at the end of the turn if the card you placed in your energy with the skill is in your energy place it in the other's drop area if the card you place in your energy with the skill isn't in your energy place one card from energy in the other's drop area so you get the free ramp but no matter what you're losing an energy is that worth it i don't know it's kind of interesting i mean i guess you could uh you could use this to fuse you can get energy from the top of your deck you can fuse into the zamasu we just saw we're getting a vanilla goku nothing too crazy to talk about i love future gohan really happy he's in a super combo this is a typical four life draw one super combo it seems like so nothing too spectacular there i don't think vegeta savior of the future blue is getting a san kaba that's always good to know i think every color should have one of these bulma master scientist permanent during your opponent's turn if it, all your energy is mono blue if you would reveal this card from your life you can play it instead when this card's played look up to five cards top of your deck add a blue goku blue vegeta or blue trunks future from your hand uh from your deck to your hand so another card you'll probably play because you want as many targets to play from fr for free off your life as possible and it searches your deck for things you need so that is pretty good and you got to keep in mind too you got to take into account the other trunks features the other gokus and vegetas you might be playing in this deck respectful master gawasu when this card's played look at top seven add a blue zamasu from your uh deck to your hand i think this will also search all the fuse zamasus as well i'm pretty sure they just say zamasu in the corner and not fuse zamasu uh but that could be something to look into for sure goku black future decimator activate main if you lead a card is a blue zamasu or goku black place card in your energy from your hand you can't place cards in energy or play cards other than mono blue zamasu or goku black for the turn but you can use the zeno unison before using this effect which is interesting at the end of the turn if this card's in your energy place it in the owner's drop area this is a really strong card you just activate main put it in your energy then fuse into the zamasu that we just saw tragedy overground another card that's got people up in arms and this card does seem pretty op we'll see what it does field permanent this card can't be removed from the battle area by an opponent's battle card skills permanent when your opponent plays a battle card with energy cost of four or more it's placing the energy instead now this will get around everything this will get around deflect this will get around barrier that's pretty insane auto in this card's activated choose all of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier place them in the owner's energy in rest mode so on play it's a board wipe your, your opponent basically can't play boss monsters on you which is pretty nuts but you know that we saw the future trunks that kind of gets around this i guess but will that be a great win con against this i wouldn't i wouldn't really say so now at first i was like how the heck are you gonna ramp to nine and drop this like even though this stuff ramps pretty hard didn't seem like it ramped to nine energy very well but of course there's a monster that plays it from the deck we'll get that in a bit super saiyan blue vegeto Par paralyzing prowess eight drop deflect triple strike barrier that's a mouthful ex evolve for four over vegeto with energy cost of five so we did see that vegeto that unison's for free and this is here to evolve on top of that auto if your other card is a blue future trunks when this card is played or attacks your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and places them at the bottom of their deck in any order so on play and on swing your opponent is going to lose a total of four cards so that is pretty nuts of course you can chomp the tricks of this but on play your opponent's still losing two cards that's pretty cool barrier 35k gonna be hard for your opponent to remove let's just say that Goku Black Rose Lofty Aspirations Triple Strike EX Evolve for four over a blue Goku Black of any energy cost, which is cool to note. There is a free Goku Black you can play from the anniversary box. Permanent. When choosing a card to use with this card's evolve skill from your hand, you can choose a battle card in your energy. So even more free real estate. Very good. Auto of your other cards, a blue is a monster or Goku Black, and your opponent has five or more energy. When a card evolves into this card, place up two of your opponent's energy in the owner's drop area. So we're getting more energy hate. People do love the Goku Black energy hate archetype from set two this is just more free support for that so pretty good i guess fuse Zamasu, the divine immortal nine drop indestructible dual attack ex evolve for four over the Zamasu. we saw that fuses for free activate main slash battle place this card in your drop area activate one tragedy overground from your hand drop area deck or energy then shuffle your deck if you look through it so pretty nuts here i mean you have to give up your four energy investment huge beat stick kind of unfortunate but I guess you're able to use this at any point in the game because it is activate main slash battle. So you could probably wait for a key time to use to bring out the tragedy overground. So you don't have to really give up your 35k beater for nothing. You should probably wait for the key time to do it. Super Saiyan Trunks God Sealing Technique Counterplay. You can't activate counterplay skills other than this card for the turn. 
You may discard this card from your hand. If you do, the battle card being played is returning the owner's hand instead. If you don't, play this card. So you have to pay the five energy to use this counterplay unless you are able to use the permanent, which says if you have a blue unison card with two or more markers in play, you can activate this card's unison, uh, this card counter skill from your hand without paying energy cost. So it becomes a free discard bounce instead of being played, which is very, very strong. I mean, you do lose a card in your hand, but your opponent loses a lot of tempo. So imagine tapping four for this, and then your opponent's like, nah, get out of here. That's going to be a really strong counter to getting Tragedy Foreground dropped on you. Final Hope Slash, very cool counter attack. If your card is mono blue, switch it to one of your mono blue energy to active mode, then choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards with 15,000 power or less, ignoring barrier, return it to the owner's hand. So a two for one negate is always going to be super strong. Blue didn't really have one of these that was very viable. And I think this card will be very, very viable. But again, tying it to mono blue, a lot of mono blue support in this set. Permanent, if you have a blue unison card in play, you can have this card's counter skill from your hand without paying energy cost. So no additional thing to that except just have the unison in play and then you're basically getting a free dimension magic or a free coercion, kind of whatever you want to look at it like. Then we got some starter deck stuff. I think I'll save that for another video because this one's getting a little bit long and we talked about most of the main blue stuff from the main set. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below about this stuff. I'm pretty excited for the Future Trunks Vegito stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.